I've started day two of my build and I transferred this pattern over to plastic. I just taped it down, spray painted over it so the lines would be perfect. And then I cut it out of Lexan, folded it up, painted it, and have already stuck it in. And that is going to leave room on the top side there inside the car that you see here. And this is going to be where the battery can go vertically. So it can sit down in very low. So I've got the side panels in. And this is all one piece. The side panels, the top piece. That whole thing is just one piece all the way front to back. And I wanted it to look super clean. And packaged neatly inside of there is a PN90. And uh, this is going to be... I think pretty cool when it's done. I might just leave it a PN90 at this point because why not? It's if it uh, crawls the way I want it to, I don't see any reason to upgrade it from there anymore. And uh, what I think I might do with the ESC is rotate that forward and just mount this up underneath, and you won't even see the ESC. It'll be it's almost too clean. It doesn't look like a truck really because it's literally too clean. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see how it looks with the. Um, I think I'll have to uh, get an extension cord for the plug. But I don't see why I couldn't just mount that right up in there. You wouldn't even see it. Building this crawler turned into an art project, and I was trying to figure out how to mount this ESC without actually securing it to the inner body, because if this ESC ever blows out, and it will eventually, I don't want to pull it off of the body and take the paint off of that uh, plastic that I painted. So what I've done is I have basically got my Dremel tool out, and... Uh, cut a groove in it there and it will now fit right in there straight in there up against the transmission the transmission housing actually the motor mount so I've kind of created a little bit of a fusion and you can see inside there that uh, the point of the transmission protrudes up into the ESC a little bit, and that's okay. I don't mind that. It actually holds it in place pretty good. Um, like I said, I will have to run a uh, extension cord for the battery wire, but that's not a problem. And I'm going to uh, use some of this tape that I won at the Hobby Town uh, anniversary, and just literally. Uh, use servo tape to secure that inside against the motor then if I ever drop this skid plate the motor transmission still motor transmission and ESC all come out as a unit so I think that's pretty good I really like that um, the way this is turning out the only thing that I have to be careful of is making sure that I have things plugged in properly and I know that is proper because the motor is always the back one which I know some people have got it backwards and toasted an ESC or two I won't name names but I love you anyway <laughs> and uh, that's gonna go in just like that beautifully look at that how does it get better than that that's that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll just put the tape on that. It's all secure as a unit. Not too bad. Really happy with how this turned out. This is a note to anybody considering buying the Enjora axles. They're awesome. I really like them. Got some paint on me earlier. You can see that. That was from the uh, paint in the interior of that. But Enjora axles do not come with either a servo mount or a rear truss so I'm temporarily borrowing this one from the, the uh, 
E1 Super and uh, I'll get this bolted on so I can get it put together and maybe even drive this thing yet tonight. I've got the suspension components mounted and the only thing left to do is uh, shorten the wires on the servo lead because they're massively long and could reach well beyond the back of the vehicle which isn't necessary so I'll shorten those up and uh, I don't need that much at all because everything's tight but uh, I like to round off all the ends of these before I put them together because they articulate a little better you have to go back over it with a sharpie to make it black again but that's not a problem and uh, they just move a lot nicer once uh, they're freed up a bit. Since the last scene I've completed the build on this and got it all put together. I've done just a little bit of test driving with it and uh, I had to switch the motor leads around because when I did the 180 degree flip on the skid plate it made the car run in reverse. So that's been taken care of. In the next video we're going to talk, or not talk about, but show you some of the performance stuff and some modifications. I already know one thing that I'm going to do that goes against what everybody else does, but I think it'll help it out. Stay tuned for more.